Here's a quick tip. I have this DeWalt saw, uh, contractor's grade table saw. And, you know, saws are nice and versatile, lightweight. But on occasions, I have this rip fence I needed. But this rip fence is only about uh, three inches tall. And sometimes when I'm ripping stuff, I want to be able to rip taller pieces. And what I did was I modified this with a extension rip fence side as such and the way this works is basically three quarter inch uh, MDF glued to a quarter inch about one inch piece of uh, plywood and then three half inch uh, plywoods <clears throat> and fastened by two uh, fine threaded uh, drywall screws and the way this actually work, works is that I end up drilling two holes on the side on the opposite side of my rip fence and put the camera down for a second and show you how this looks once it's assembled now you can see my rip fence is approximately seven inches tall compared to three inches that I had previously and again this was just screwed in using two drywall screws half inch uh, plywood and a quarter inch plywood glued and stapled to a three-quarter inch MDF board. The MDF board is probably about uh, 24 inches long, 25 inches long and the DeWalt rip fence itself is about uh, 21 inches long. So now I'm able, just illustrating here, to take wood and sit it up high and run it through the rip, rip fence without having just this lower short uh, fence to, to use. And just a quick tip on modifying your DeWalt contractor table saw. If you like this channel please hit the subscribe button but we would appreciate a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video 